As a gamer myself, I grew up playing video games as a child and that led me to my special interest in video gaming addiction and researching that and to be honest, as a psychiatrist who treats people with this problem, I never envisage, envisaged that I would become addicted to a video game myself. But um, many years ago, I played Pokemon Go on my smartphone like millions and millions of other players around the world. But it was the first time in my life that I played a video game for longer than a year. And I realized that it was taking up so much of my time. It wasn't worth my time to keep investing grinding out hours playing this game, walking around um, with the community and I realised that I wanted to stop. And so I decided to go cold turkey. Uh, I did a 90 day detox and I relapsed within the first week. The, the game designers, they, they knew exactly my behaviour within the game and then after a week they gave me an offer that I couldn't refuse and no matter how much willpower I had, I had teammates messaging me, telling me to come back and sure enough I went back into the game and I, I felt so ashamed of myself that I couldn't actually commit and control my gaming habits and I realised at that point that I was addicted and, and then I was more determined to, to kick the habit. Um, and then years later, uh, unfortunately last year I picked up the game again, I thought I could play casually and then sure enough I was back on the grind again back on that treadmill and I realised, yep, this particular game, as similar to many other free-to-play games, they know exactly what they're doing and it's designed to keep players playing non-stop and it doesn't end.